Amateur Sports TV, Theo Tutkalek, sitting here with Rod Collins, part owner, general manager, Pilot Mountain Buffaloes. Thanks for joining us. How many years have we had the Pilot Mountain Hockey Academy going on right now? Well, we're in our third year and our second year with uh, the girls program. And we just spoke with the girls coaches. How exciting is it now to have both programs up and running? And how has that helped with recruiting in the, in the last little bit? Well, it's obviously recruiting is much easier now that we're more established. And, uh, but we're very excited about our teams this year, uh, both the girls and boys. Uh, boys started this past weekend. We're 2-2 two and two in a big tournament in Minnesota. The girls went 5-0. and oh. Uh, so we're very excited about our program and more importantly we've got great kids uh, that are part of our family here. And that's one thing you strive towards is creating a family with the Pilot Mountain within the community and the school. Now tell me what was the you know how did you begin the Pilot Mountain Hockey Academy? What brought it all to the forefront for you? Well I've been involved in the academies uh, in particular the most recent one was Shattuck St. Mary's in Faribault, Minnesota and uh, I knew of this facility and this is my hometown. I wanted to bring something back here. Uh, I thinking this was the ideal situation for an academy type program with a smaller high school that we could work with in the education area. Uh, so I, we, we started this program, it took some funding of course, but uh, we are very excited about what we do for the community and for the kids that we uh, train here and educate here and hopefully move on to junior and coll collegiate programs. So the, the plan is to have them graduate high school, move on to a secondary program. How many of these kids or in these players really understand the importance of the education side of things with the athletics? Well, you know, sometimes when they come here they don't understand that, and, but we emphasize that obviously. And we, we monitor grades and performance at school. So we, we're very uh, diligent in our approach to making sure that they have outstanding grades because that's probably one of the easier ways to get to college programs. So it's a huge emphasis on our part and our school works very closely with us. And uh, like I say, uh, with scholarship opportunities nowadays, they're, they are academic as much as athletic. So it's of vital importance to us. Student athletes exactly is the forefront. It's been like that for over a decade, and I totally agree with you, Rod. Tell me the experience that these players receive when they travel to other locations, but more importantly, what they learn outside of the classroom and how important that is for developing as a young player. Well, these kids get to travel. Uh, for example, this past weekend, the girls were in Penticton. Some of the girls had never been out of Manitoba, so it's quite an experience just to a new area in the mountains, etc. But we, we have nothing but compliments about our, our kids on the road as far as their mannerisms, they, uh, at the hotels, locker rooms, their dress, which is all a part of becoming a good citizen, we believe. And so we stress that of utmost importance. Uh, our boys were recently in Blaine, Minnesota, did well in the tournament there, and the coaches reported to me that they were well behaved excellent ambassadors for our program. That's fantastic. So how do they be, so how was your recruiting process begin and where would you like to see the program? I mean, obviously through this year and into next year. Well, right now we have enough housing for uh, two teams, a girls team and a boys team. We're looking at expanding our boys program uh, as we can afford housing to do so. But uh, our, our recruiting is ongoing. Uh, I'm in contact with people basically all over the world uh, about our program and they're coming to us as well so we start our program and uh, the recruiting part of it is ongoing basically and uh, I'm in contact with people all the time and you know with your coverage with your program here we obviously get uh, more exposure to what we offer and I think once people find out about our program they would become very interested. Is there anything you'd like to finish with, Rod? Like, I mean, you talk about the program, how it's involved with the school, the community, building family. If there was one take-home message you could deliver to a prospective student athlete here in Pilot Mount, what would that be? That we care for them. We care for our kids. Uh, they're not just a, another player with a dollar sign behind them. We care for them and we care for their future. I really appreciate that, Rod Collins. Thank you very much for joining us, GM and part owner, Pilot Mountain Buffalo program, not just the men and the women, but both. 
the man, the myth, the legend, the mastermind of it all. Thank you very much, Rod. Okay, thank you, Theo.